My name is Mohamed Kabeh and I'm an A-level student. I know your profession, your specialty is in comparative religion, so my question is going to be on Christianity. Um, a lot of Christians say that Jesus is God. Um, can you articulate any evidence uh, using the Bible to refute this claim? Um, thank you very much. Brother, I have the question that many Christians claim that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God. So can you refute this from the Bible? Before I give the answer, I would like to make a few points clear. That Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern day Christians today do not believe. We believe that he was the Messiah translated Christ. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Muslim and the Christians, we are going together. But there is parting of ways. There are many Christians, or most of the Christians, who say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he claimed divinity. But if we read the Bible, there is not a single unequivocal statement. In the complete Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God, or where he says, worship me. If anyone, if any Christian can point out to me any single unequivocal statement from anywhere in the Bible, from any version, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says unambiguously, unequivocally, that I am God, or where he says, worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity today. When we read the Bible, we come to know that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, my father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29. My father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28. I, with the Spirit of God, cast out devils. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20. I, with the finger of God, cast out devils. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of my Father. Anyone who says I seek not my will, but the will of Almighty God, he's a Muslim. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was a Muslim. He never claimed divinity. It's clearly mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 24. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said that the words that you hear are not mine, but my Father's who has sent me. And it's mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter number 2, verse number 22. Ye men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him, and you are witness to it. A man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him, and you are witness to it. So here, when we read the Bible, you come to know that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he never claimed divinity. He never said he was God. Neither he said that he was the begotten son of God. But he was one of the mightiest messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hope that answers the question.